This video will explain how to use parameters in keyword tests. Recorded tests typically contain hard-coded values that make your tests static. And such tests always use the same data over and over again. Now that may pre prevent you from using your tests repeatedly. So the easiest way to make tests reusable is to parameterize them. That is to replace the hard-coded values with parameters. And then you specify what values you want to be passed to those parameters before you call your tests. This enables to reuse your tests with multiple sets of data, share test data, and create more flexible test processes. So let's see how we can parameterize our test complete tests. Okay, so this sample project that I've got right here has a keyword test in it. And this test just simulates typing in some text into the notepad window. As you can see right here, we're typing in hello world into the notepad window. But now we want to parameterize that so that we're not always entering hello world. Maybe we want to say hello mom or hello everyone or something like that. So to do that, we're going to parameterize this test. Now, to define the keyword test parameters, we're going to click the add parameter button right here on the keyword test editor toolbar. That brings up this add parameter wizard. So on the first page of the wizard, I'm going to specify uh, the necessary parameter property. So we'll give our parameter a more descriptive name. We'll call this notepad text, because that'll be the text we want to enter into notepad. And for description, we'll say, this is the text we want to enter in notepad. Easy enough? OK. Now, one thing to note here is that the parameter name has to match the naming rules of the scripting language of your test project. So the easiest way to make sure you stay in compliance is to specify a, a name that only has alphabetic characters or starts with a letter. Now I'm going to click Next. And here I can put in a default value for my parameter. So if I don't specify a value for the parameter, I always want it to enter default text. And now I'm just going to click Finish. Okay, so you can see down here that the parameters tab of our editor now has a little star on it. We're going to click that, and you can see our notepad text parameter has been added to our parameters panel. Now this panel contains information about parameters. We've got our name, the default type, if it's optional or not, uh, and you can choose whether or not a parameter is optional simply by checking this box. And now this means we don't have to enter a value for that parameter uh, in order for the test to run. But when it's cleared, you do need to specify a value. And if you decide afterwards that you don't need a particular parameter, deleting it is a simple matter of just right-clicking and selecting Delete. Now, to actually employ this parameter in our test, what we're going to do is come back to the Test Steps palette. And I'm going to double-click on the Hello World operation here. And you can see that brings up this on-screen action dialog. I'm going to click the ellipses right here. And in this mode column, I'm going to change that from constant to test parameter. And now I can choose which parameter I want to run. I'm going to say the notepad text parameter. Click OK. And then click Finish. And now when we run this test, test completes going to substitute the value for uh, that's stored inside of my parameter and type that into Notepad. Now the way in which you actually enter what values will be used during a parameter uh, depends on the way in which the test is being run. For instance, if you are using the test items panel, you can see right here we've got this dialog. We can click on this and enter in a value for our parameter. So we'll just say, you know, hello everyone. And now when that test runs, test complete will enter in hello everyone into the notepad window. So let's go ahead and run that. We'll just right click on it and say run focused item. And now you'll see test complete will launch and it will type hello everyone into the notepad window. This concludes our video on parameterizing keyword tests. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at sales at automatedqa.com or support at automatedqa.com. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with test complete.